very exciting time. Um, first and foremost, because I think educators, by and large, like to dream impossible dreams. And the other thing is we like to be challenged. And when people say it can't be done, we're out to prove them wrong. Uh, and it can be done. And it can be done with smiles. It can be done with determination. But mostly it's done with the help of an awful lot of people. And I would be foolish to stand here and say, I did this or we did this. We and everyone else that stands behind us. Uh, and yesterday I hosted something at Tweed to thank the people who have been up all night. I mean, we had staff this past week who were there. Hmm. Yes, Rich, I know. Uh, <laughs> to midnight. Uh, weekends long, 24 hours. I think the last phone call I feel this weekend was actually at 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, because we are determined to make sure that New York City leads the nation and the world in what is a historic moment. And the one other thing I want to say about this particular place, Dr. Ellis and I already made an appointment to talk and share um, some of the practices here. But most importantly, this is a place that for many of our kids is life-saving. This is not just about education. Mm -hmm. Many of the children in this building are in temporary housing. This is the secure place that they feel. Many of them have been in three sites. Coming to school is something that is permanent and structured in their lives. And you can't buy that. I don't care how much it costs. You cannot buy that experience. The other thing is, as we walked by, and Melissa and I couldn't say, the babies in cribs. I mean, you know, we, we forget sometimes that, you know, if parents need to work and want to work, that there needs to be an option. There needs to be a safe place for them to be. Um, but I think most importantly, and what I offer to come back and do, without the press, actually, um, is to talk to the parents. Because one of the things I want to say to all the parents in New York City, this is your job, too. This is not just us, but this is an opportunity for you to extend what we're doing. And one of the things that's going to happen here on September 16th, you see I read the post as well, um, there's going to be a dad welcome day. And I think having males in schools is crucial to success. We really need to model that both mothers and fathers and big brothers and grandfathers and everybody else, my, actually my husband is babysitting today, uh, it are really important to make sure that our kids grow tomorrow, not just educationally, but socially and emotionally. And this is a place where all that is happening, and I couldn't be prouder. And before he nudges me in Espanol, correct? Hoy es un día muy histórico. Hoy es un día donde los niños de cuatro años y sus padres pueden ir a la escuela gratis um, de nueve a tres. Y es muy importante que los padres que quieren a trabajar y que tengan los chiquillos en un sitio saludable, que puedan ir a trabajar con la confianza, que están en las manos de buenas maestras, que están aprendiendo y que están siguiendo el labor de aprender y con, con gusto. Lo que yo vi hoy aquí en esta escuela, los chiquillos que estaban aprendiendo, estaban aprendiendo con gusto, con alegría, pero al mismo tiempo aprendiendo más palabras, aprendiendo cómo jugar uno con el otro. Y eso es lo que queremos nosotros para todos los chiquillos de la ciudad de Nueva York. Este es un momento que los padres también se tienen que sacrificar un poco, ir a las escuelas y, a, y conversar con las maestras para que aprendan cómo ayudar a los chiquillos en casa. Pero es un día que hoy de noche voy a dormir muy feliz y muy contenta que llegamos a este punto. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Just want to acknowledge and thank our Deputy Mayor Richard Bury, who's played such a key role in this. He has not eaten or slept for days because he wanted to make sure every waking hour went into getting this right. And Richard, this is a great day of victory for you too. Congratulations. I want to now, let's give him a round of applause. Again, we've had such tremendous partnership from the City Council. Melissa Mark Figuerito and all the council members believed deeply they wanted to get this done. They threw everything they had into it. And that's why we're standing here today. I want to welcome our speaker, Melissa Mark Figuerito. Thank you.